I'm starting out with a white eyeliner for two reasons. Firstly, I'm using it to sketch out the shape that I want. I'm using a white because if I make a mistake and need to correct the shape, I can easily blend the pencil into my skin and start again. This pencil is a jumbo pencil, so if I'm having difficulty sketching out the shape, I'll lay down a little product and then with a brush, pull the color into the shape that I want. This is easily achieved because the pencil is quite creamy. The second reason why I'm using a pencil is because it's going to act as a base now too. So once I have an initial outline, I'm going to start filling in the spaces. As we are using colourful eyeshadows today, the white base will ensure these shadows appear as vibrantly as possible. The first eyeshadow I'm taking is a bright red and I'm applying this around the outer portion of the design. So up onto my forehead down around the temples and in to meet the lower waterline and then down onto the bridge of the nose. Once I have the design outlined in red then I'm going to start pulling the eyeshadow inwards so that it's fading towards the centre of the design. I like to use a small flat brush to apply and blend my eyeshadows just because it's a little more precise but if you don't have one or if you want to cover areas a bit quicker you can use a blending brush so you just use it in exactly the same way pick up a little product, start on the edge of the design so that the majority of the product is applied there. Then once you have the bulk of the product off your brush, you can blend inwards towards the center. Next, I'm going to go in with an orange eyeshadow. So you're going to start applying this shade from the point that we blended the red out to. So place your brush on that edge and blend inwards again. I am breaking everything down into parts today to make the application process easier. So I'm working on blending from the start of my brow up onto my forehead around to my waterline then I'll move on to the bridge of the nose and then finally underneath the eye area. Now I'm moving on to a yellow eyeshadow. So as you can see from the center of the brow upwards we have a triangular space that's bare and this is where I'm applying the yellow. If you don't own an orange eyeshadow and you do have a yellow and a red you can apply these two to the eye and when the shades overlap you'll get a gorgeous orange shade. Alternatively, if you don't have any of these shades, look at the colour wheel, see what shades blend together well and then use what you have at home. Up until now I've just been concerned with placing down the colours, but now that we have that step completed we can work on intensifying the eyeshadows. So you want to build the colour up little by little and ensure that the shadow you have applied fades into the shade next to it. You want that really nice gradient effect. So for today's design, I wanted to make sure that the shadows fade inwards from a red to a yellow. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow. I chose one that had gold flecks running through it. Not essential, any black will do. So I'm taking the black on a very small eyeliner brush and I'm using it to add some definition to the design. To do this, you just want to apply it to the very outer edge of the design. As I have said, once you place down a colour, you want to make sure that it fades into the colour next to it. So once I've applied the black, then I'm going back in with a little red and blending. And then you just want to keep adding some black, adding some red, and then blending until the two blend seamlessly together. Then you just want to do this all the way around the design. So that's the hard part done. Like I said, I've split the look into three parts. So now I'm moving on to the bridge of the nose and we're just repeating the process. So I've blended a little red and then I'm applying the orange next to it and then I'm following that up with the yellow eyeshadow and then we're just outlining with the black. Before we move on to the last part, I'm lining the upper lash line. I don't want to risk messing up at this stage so I'm using a felt tip pen first and outlining the shape. Then I'm drawing over top of that with my liquid liner I'm not winging out the eyeliner too much, but if you want to, it's easily done. Just follow the shape of the design and flick upwards. So onto the part under the eye now, and no prizes for guessing what I'm going to do. You know the drill by now. So with the red under the eye, I'm starting at the point kind of below where the tail of the brow is. I'm bringing the eyeshadow all the way underneath the eye, 
and I'm curving it onto the bridge of the nose. Then you want to apply your orange, followed by your yellow, and then finally outline the top of it in black. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you liked it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in my next video.